coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Becky Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Boom, 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 boom. I appreciate the support. We out here, man. 33 years. 33 years of prison stories, man. We rolling. We rolling. We trying to get to it. We on the road to 100K, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We trying to do it. We trying to do it, man. We got to push this positive energy out there, man. We got to try to get these uh, these youngers saved, man. Um, It's vicious, man. It's vicious. I'm telling y'all, it's vicious in this penitentiary, man. And, uh... I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to start giving y'all some of these stories, man, where y'all going to see what I'm talking about, man. And uh, I want y'all to take it in context, man, because I know some of these young dudes, they don't understand things unless they can visually see it, unless they can, you know, experience it. And a lot of times that's too late. So I'm going to start dropping these stories on y'all, man, where y'all can understand, man, and get a little bit. And y'all let me know in the comments how y'all re response is to these type of stories. But... There's a lot of stories that I haven't even told y'all yet just because of the simple fact that I'm trying to put a message out there. The prison is not where you want to be. But, um, and I'm trying to say it in a nice tone. But sometimes you got to yell, you know, because uh, every day I see in the news one of these youngers is doing something crazy and they throwing their life away and not even knowing they throwing it away. And uh, I read y'all comments as well. So, you know, so... Just stay tuned, man. And then what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to tell these stories, man. And then I'm going to try to go live after the video. And if y'all want to talk about, you know, my take on it or my, uh, you know, my commentary about it or how I feel about it. And then we can do it like that. So we're going to try this method for a while and see how it works. See if it changes anything. See if it gets more attention. See if more people start paying attention. Because that's our ultimate goal is to get this message out there by any means necessary. So, with that being said, man, big love to everybody, man, who support the platform. Everybody who support the movement. Uh, make no mistake, it is a movement. It's not a moment. It's a movement. So, uh, big love to all of y'all, man. From the morning mud to the late night twist to everybody who like, comment, share, and subscribe at 6. Appreciate you. Big love. Uh, man, listen. This is like, kind of like some parts of my introduction in the prison to let me know, you know, what type of life I was going to be living. Uh, what type of uh, environment I was going to be in. You know, this... This comes down to the points of the times that I told y'all, man. There's been times in my bed, man, just keeping it 100, you know, where I've, I've been homicidal and suicidal because, you know, life was just that hard, man. It's just that hard in the penitentiary. It's not a game, dog. It, it, it truly is not a game. And when you young and you coming into this type of life and you see this stuff that's going on, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to either make you or break you, you know. It's going to make you a break. And what I mean by make you a break, it's going to make you, uh, it's going to make you either stand up or sit down, man. You know? And certain things in life, a man got to say to himself that he, he would never go. He, he would never do. He would never go to these. You got to have limitations. You know what I'm saying? He would never go there. There's certain things in a man's life where he going to tell you, I would never do that. You know, it's certain things in a man's life that he would rather die than do. That's a man to me. You know, it's certain things that I'm not going to do. And, 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 and if death is on the table for that, then that's what it is. You know, and when I first got in, man, especially in that wall, man, I seen so many vicious, vicious uh, things, man, that made me feel like, you know, when you see something, you automatically put yourself in that type of situation or you automatically ask yourself the, the number one question. I mean, like, what, what would you do? And, um... Yeah, I seen some things, man, that just made me say it ain't, it, it just ain't no way. It ain't no way. But then you got to look at it like people, you know, they value their life so much. And, they, and, uh, and most men, most humans, most people are afraid of pain. They're afraid to get hurt. You know, when in actuality in life, you're going to get hurt. you just going to get hurt. You may not get hurt to the degree that most people or some people do get hurt, but you're going to get hurt. So that that's just a part of life. 
but the fear of people getting hurt, man, is is what uh, engulfs them and make them indulge in things that they would never indulge in. And um, so when I was first coming through, man, and like I told y'all, man, like my second stop was at the wall. And I seen some things in there, man, that shaped my mindset, like I told y'all before. But I'm going to go in depth in some of these things, man, to just let y'all get an idea of how my mind was working and what I was going through. But, uh, man, I can remember, you know, I seen, you know, the drug game was deep in there. You know, you got dudes selling drugs. They, that's what they do. You know, but it won't really, if it was, I didn't know too much about it. It was a little dope in there, but mostly weed. Dudes were selling weed. But you got dudes that get caught up on that, man. They, 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 it's a habit for them. They can't stop it. They still do it. They, they can't stop it, man. You know, even at the risk of they don't have the money, they'll get it anyway just to escape that moment. You know what I'm saying? Or escape a couple of hours and make them feel like they're in a different place. But when you come to and you sober again, you still in prison and you owe somebody some money. And they want that money in prison, though. They want that money. It ain't nobody that I know going to sell you some or sell you some drugs or something in prison and don't want that money and not willing to hurt you behind that money. You know, they not. And the dudes is not willing to hurt you behind that money. They got somebody they're going to pay to hurt you behind that money. You understand? So you need to know these things going in there. But these dudes get the habit be so strong that they, they just feel like I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take the chances. So this will happen with, with, with this situation to the best of my knowledge. But he owed some money for some drugs. He didn't have the money. Dudes pulled up on him, asked about this money. Gave him a good little grace period. He ain't want to listen. And um, dude rolled up on his cell. You know, when the doors popped open the next morning, he had two dudes with him. He go to the cell. He pull up to the cell. He come to the cell. He go up in the cell. He asked dude where the money at. Dude said, I ain't, I ain't got it, man, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Just hold on. Work with me. Work with me. He said, no, I ain't no working with you. The working is over. And he pulled that Bethlehem out. He said, you got the money, man? And dude terrified. He scared. He like, no, man, I ain't got it, but I'm going to get it to you. I'm going to get it to you. He's like, no, you need it now. You ain't got it now? He's like, no, man. Don't, don't hurt me, though. I'm... So that right there, when you start doing that, you showing the signs of fear. And, and, and dudes in penitentiary, man, they feed off of fear. They, they that, 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 you know, that motivates them to see that you scared. And he told him, he said, nah, you got to give it to me. Now he said, oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you up in this joint. He said, man, don't kill me. Don't kill me, man. I'm going to pay you. I swear to God, I'm going to get the money. I got money coming in. He said, nah, I want it now. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Man, he tell me, he said, well, I'm going to kill you. So he said, nah, please, please, I'll do anything. i do it. He said, yeah, you going to do anything? He said, yeah. He said, take your clothes off. Take your clothes off. He said, what? Where you going to take your clothes off? Now. Or I'm going to start stabbing. He take his clothes off. Take his clothes off, man. Because he looking and he looking at the door. He see two people at the door. He see this dude. He know he got the joint. He think they got the joint. He feeling like he can't get out. He take the clothes off. He tell him, get on your knees. Get on your knees. He get on his knees. He tell him, he said, now take your thumb and stick it up your butt. He said, huh? He said, you heard what I said. Stick your thumb up your butt. And he did it, man. He did it. You understand me? And and, 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 and and you know, he looking at, I could only put myself in his mind frame. And I guess the, the only rational reason I could think about is he's saying he don't want to get stabbed. But you degrading yourself to the point where you 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 not doing manly things. You're not a man. Because you put yourself in this position. So he stick his finger in his butt and then he tell him, pull it out. And he tell him, he's sitting there, put it in your mouth and suck your thumb. He said, huh? He said, if I ask you again, I'm going to stab you in your face. So he, he put his thumb in his mouth, man, after coming out his own butt. Yeah, I'm telling y'all real stuff, man. And we and I'm going to tell you how I know this to be how it happened. Because these dudes, they would bring this out to the block and let the block know what's going on. Yeah, and then they tell him, put your clothes on. He put his clothes on. And then he said, put your thumb in your mouth and come all in the block. And if I see your thumb come out your mouth one time, I'm going to stab you. And I'm going to go ahead on and take that. I'm going to stab you and I'm going to stop till somebody stop me. And you got this joker out here sitting in the block, tears coming down his eyes with his thumb in his mouth that done been in his own rectum, dog. 
on what and dude's just walking around and he doing his thing and acting like ain't nothing going on, but every time he walk by, he'll say something to him. You better not take that thumb out your mouth. You better not take it out your mouth, man. <laughs> and man, he telling dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's sucking that thumb to bend all up in his butt because he can't pay his bills. You know what I'm saying? Because he can't pay his bills. So he's sending a subliminal message to everybody who come get something from him. If you don't pay me, this going to be you. Or either you're going to be laying over in the infirmary somewhere or on a helicopter trying to get the people to save your life because I'm going to stab you to death. This is the type of stuff that's going on when I'm first coming in the penitentiary. And I'm like, man. And, you know, and I rationalize that I don't even do drugs, so I ain't going to never be in that situation. But it don't necessarily have to be drugs. It could be anything. This is how jokers are in there. You got jokers in there that ain't never going home, ain't got no hope of going home. They, You got dudes that's going home, but they still going hard. It's just the mentality of certain people that are locked into that penitentiary mentality where mercy is off the table, man. Mercy is off the table, dog. Ain't nobody caring about mercy. And then when you see somebody do something crazy like that, then you got somebody else that's going to try to outdo him. And this is how that stuff elevates. You got a grown man sitting in a block crying with tears coming down his eyes with a dookie thumb in his mouth, man. And to make it so worse, he done told everybody in the block that's what he doing. And if he take it out and you see him take it out, let me know. And then he told him he got to do that every day for three days to pay his debt. Come to your cell in the morning, strip, put your finger in your butt, and every time you come out your cell, I need to see your thumb in your mouth. I don't care if the police talking to you or whoever talking to you. You talk with the thumb in your mouth. Don't take it out your mouth. Yeah, this is the type of stuff that's really going on in the penitentiary. And this is me, my inception. I'm coming in the penitentiary. This in the wall, man. This is my second stop from receiving. I'm like, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane when you coming from the street and you seeing this because... I don't care what type of hood you came from out in, in society. I don't know. I ain't been in every hood. I've been in the, in the city. I've been in D.C. hoods. I, I, I know what's going on in that vicious, violent stuff. But to see this stuff up close in a little small box and see stuff like that, man, you don't know what's going on. And these jokers walking around with Bethlehem's, man, this big, man. And they ain't doing no shaking down in there. They ain't coming in the block. The police ain't coming in there to, 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 to save nobody. They ain't making no rounds when we on that floor, when we out on that block. Ain't no police making no rounds, dog. They not coming on that floor with 180 dudes out there. It's, if it's 180 dudes in there, it's probably 200 knives in there. 200 Bethlehems on deck. They not coming in there. So you on your own. And, you know, and, and, and man, that's overwhelming, dog. That's overwhelming. You know, so in my mind, I'm already locking in that, bro, man, ain't no way. Psh, ain't no way. I ain't even stripping. You going to have to stab me. You going to have to kill me right there. I'm going to fight. I'm not going to just sit there just let you stab me. I'm going to fight. But when you got two dudes at the door and one dude in there, and it's three It's three guns against you, three Bethlehems against you, and you ain't got nothing, then the chances is you probably could die or you going to get hurt real bad. But... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that, dog, and I don't want that. I'm telling you right now, don't nobody want to get stabbed up. I don't want that, but I, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that, dog. I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. So I've already started the process in my mind that can I handle this type of life? You know what I'm saying? Am I built for this type of life? And to be honest with you, I'm telling you, I don't know nobody built for this type of life, dog. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make a decision because you ain't got no nothing else to do. It's live or die, sink or swim. You know what I'm saying? So if you scared to get hurt, or, or, or you need not to go to the penitentiary, bro, because these jokers in here is not playing no games, man. They not playing no games, man. And it ain't no telling what they might do to you and, and how they might do it to you. It just ain't no telling, dog. And I've seen these things, and I'm seeing these things in my mind, and I'm like, boom, and these dudes is walking around like it ain't nothing going on. Like, this is normal. This is normal. 
And you got his buddies walking around and he's sitting there every day in the block with his thumb in his mouth and he crying. He crying. His whole reputation is gone. It ain't nothing he can say to nobody. It ain't no respect nobody gonna have for him. But in his mind, he's sacrificing, you know, his his pride and his respect for his life because he feel like they're gonna kill him. But you go get the drugs and you know you ain't got the money for the drugs. This is when dudes let that stuff overwhelm them, dog. And I'm looking at this stuff and I'm new in prison and I'm 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 I'm, I'm gone, dog. I'm like. I'm gone, man. This is just blowing my mind, man. You know, it's blowing my mind, man. I'm telling you that it'll get to you, man. Yeah, it'll get to you, man. And and and, and people might sit at home and say, oh, well, man, I, man, I have to do this. I have to do. You don't know what you would have did. You don't know what you would have did. And I know why you don't know what you would have did, because you ain't never been in that position. It's just like watching a movie and talking about, oh, I would have did this. I should. You ain't going to know till you right here, man. Tell you face to face with that stuff where you got that Bethlehem staring down on you. And you know this joker is not playing. He going to poke you until he can't poke you no more. And them jokers are going to run in and help him. And your only hope is to get out of the cell alive. And you may not do that. You might not do that. So you got to be willing to die, man, when you in prison. That's just as simple as that. You got to be willing to die. You know, and it's the same concept. It's just like, you know, we say, when you, you, he went and got the drugs, he deserved that. Okay, we went to prison. We got to take what come in prison. Man, I was seeing stuff, man, that was blowing my mind, dog. And I'm talking about these jokers who walk around. <laughs> man, they walk around smoking cigarettes and walking by this joker saying, yeah, suck that thumb, B. Suck it. Suck it. Wipe them tears up. And he's sitting there. Trimming it with his thumb in his mouth. A grown man, dog. Grown man. Everybody ain't cut for this, this type of life, dog. It ain't, man. It's just, you know, like me, I put it just put it in my mind, man. That, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, when I got over the stage, I was, man, I was, man, my mind was gone, dog. I'm, I'm saying, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. And I just had locked it in my mind before it was all over with and all said and done, man. It's like, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm willing to take life, man. I'm willing to take life. If I lose my eyes in the process, so be it. But I'm willing to take life. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing none of that on, on, on everything I love. You're going to have to kill me, though. You're going to have to kill me, though. You know? And, and, and some people, they can't come to that point, man, because they're looking at the fear, the pain, the hurt, the, the loss of life. If I'm going to die... Everybody gonna die, man. You just, you know what I'm saying? Some people just don't get a chance to choose how they gonna die, but everybody gonna die. You know what I'm saying? But if, if, if it takes for me to, to do that, then I'm choosing how I'm gonna die because you gonna have to kill me, dog, because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen things like this in prison. I've seen the way dudes mentality. And I'm gonna tell you something, this is real talk. These dudes ain't care nothing about it. I mean, it ain't bother them at all, dog. The main one who was calling the shots and telling me it ain't bothering him. He laughing and joking and playing poker and walking around and smoking cigarettes and using the phone. And every time he looking over there, he might turn around and say, yeah, that B got that thumb in his mouth. Yeah, all right, all right. Owe me money. Owe me money. That's how they can end up in the penitentiary, dog. In the real penitentiary. This is what's going on. I ain't telling you what they what what what, 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 the, what, what the movies is saying and, and what some I'm telling you what I know what I witness. I'm telling you, they will humiliate you. They will drag you. They will destroy you. They will take your life. They will maim you, disfigure you, and keep it moving and don't care nothing about none of that. Joker go in the cell and disfigure you and come straight out and go right to the microwave and fix, fix a cup of coffee. Smoke a cigarette and go get on the phone. You laying up in the cell bleeding, pleading for your life. Ain't no police coming on the floor. They ain't coming on there to everybody locked down. If you bleed out before everybody locked down, you gone away from here. And ain't nobody going to call the police and tell them, Hey, somebody up here stabbed up, man. He's and ain't, no, ain't nobody doing that. Because he going to be the next one. He going to be the next one. He might be 
when when they do get in there, they might be picking up two. Instead of him, they will be picking them up too. Cause somebody gonna run down on him as he calling the police. And they still ain't gonna come in there, even if they see it. Even if they see it, they ain't coming in there. Not in that wall, they won't come in there. Cause they know what's in there. They know what's in there, man. And I'm stuck in this joint. <laughs> I'm stuck in this joint. I'm all about 21. I'm stuck in this joint and I'm seeing this. Yeah, my whole everything was messed up, dog. It was messed up. I'm telling you, I was, I was, I went through it the whole stage, man. Depression, uh, suicidal, to angry, to homicidal, to confused, to I, I went through the whole gamut. Cause I'm seeing all these moving parts every day and all this psycho crazy stuff, and I'm like, bro, you got to be in here every day, every day. With no breaks, no nothing. You don't know when somebody coming at you tomorrow or the issue going to be with you today. You don't know none of that. Man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yeah, man, but one, that was one of the first things, not really like the, the well, not the first things, but one of the major things I seen, it just had me like, because I had never seen the fights. I had seen dudes get, Beat down, stomped out, head stomped in the concrete. I seen dudes jump over tears because dudes chasing them with that Bethlehem. I done seen it already, man. I done seen it. I'm just getting it. I done seen it. And I'm like, man, this, this can't be real. This can't be life. <laughs> this can't be, you know, what it is, you know. Because you see, you growing up and you ain't never been to prison and you see TV and you see movies and stuff and you you like, it ain't nothing like this. <laughs> it ain't nothing like this. Yeah, that's fake. This real. Yeah, people get stabbed in there and get up and go home and get a paycheck. You get stabbed in the prison, you go to the hospital. You get on a helicopter and you might go to more. Yeah, this is real life, man. So... Yeah, man, but these are like my first, first, um, this is like my inception in the prison, man. But I don't, you know, for real, for real, I be trying to, I don't know, man. I be trying to, you know, get rid of these type of thoughts out of my head, these memories, these visions and stuff, man. I be trying to get that stuff out of my head, man. You know, because I know it made me a different person. I, I, I know for a fact it did. But, um, yeah, young people don't want none of this, though. Old people don't want none of this, dog. No people don't want none of this. But um, anyway, man, y'all let me know, man, what's going on. Y'all talk to me in the comments. I talk back, man. I'm going to be doing um after uh, after video um lives, man. You know, we can talk about it then. I can give you my more take on it. But I just want to, you know, drop these type of stuff on you, man. This type of um information to let you know, man. Prison is grimy, dog. This is going to grind me, dog. It's grimy, dog. It's unforgiving, too. So make no mistake about that, man. Choose this free world, dog. Choose this free world. I beg you to choose this free world because uh, this ain't where you want to be. TBP Nation, man. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. I get at y'all, man. Peace and love, man. Duck them hooks, man. Boom, 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 boom. They out there, man. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.